Good afternoon and thanks so much for joining us for 12 News at 4. I'm Tram Mai. The Arizona Senate has signed off on a bill to repeal an abortion ban dating back to the 19th century. The Senate votes now sends the bill to Governor Hobbs for her signature. 12 News journalist Bram Resnick was at the state capitol as each lawmaker explained their vote. He joins us now with how this all unfolded. Bram? Yeah, Tram, one month after the Arizona Supreme Court upheld the state's 160-year-old abortion ban, both the Republican-controlled House and Senate have voted to repeal it. Each time, a handful of Republicans join Democrats to cast the winning votes for a repeal. Today's vote in the Senate played out before a packed gallery of about 120 people, most of them fierce abortion opponents. The drama surrounding the bill's fate ended quickly on a procedural vote. The two pro-life Republicans supporting the repeal, Senators T.J. Shope of Coolidge and Shauna Bollock of Phoenix, stood with all the Senate Democrats to move the bill forward. That indicated their ultimate support. Once it was clear the bill was going to pass, Republicans who opposed the bill gave heartfelt, some angry, and even ugly floor speeches. As I believe that if I vote yes, these will be fewer. These heart beatings will be fewer. I vote no. And that was Senator J.D. Mesnard holding up what he said was the heartbeat of his child in his mother's, in his wife's womb. Now, T.J. Shope didn't explain his vote to lawmakers or the media. Shauna Bollock gave a 25-minute floor speech that never quite articulated why she abandoned her pro-life position. Bollock does face a tough re-election campaign in a swing district. Tram? Yeah, there were so many intense emotions happening. We were watching it as well. I mean, so many protesters were shouting. They were being interrupted from the gallery. So a whole lot going on. But you mentioned, okay, so the bill now goes to the governor's desk. From there, the governor signs it. But why isn't she signing it now? Well, I think because the governor's office didn't know exactly how today would play out. They didn't know how quickly they received the bill. It has already been transmitted to the governor's office, by the way, a little clerical detail there. So they didn't know all these things about when or how it would show up. And I think also governors like to hold bill signing ceremonies where they bring together all the people who supported the legislation, salute them, let them get their moment in the sun, moment in the spotlight. Uh, and so they decided to wait a day. It's likely going to happen tomorrow, still waiting for final details. But I think you'll see a very large bill signing with lots of folks yeah, involved. Yeah, a little pomp and circumstance. Okay, so here's the deal. Where do we stand currently right now, though? With the abortion law. And yes. I worry a lot of viewers might have no idea by now, since we're talking about a ban and a repeal. Right now, the law in Arizona is abortions uh, are uh, barred after 15 weeks of pregnancy. 15 weeks. That's the, the bar. That was enacted in 2022. The, the ban will go into effect perhaps as soon as June 27th. That date is a moving target. It could go farther, could be pushed back more and more based on legal action by Attorney General Chris Mays. Mm -hmm. So what about the repeal, you ask? Right. Well, the repeal takes effect 90 days after the, legislation, after the legislative session ends. We don't know what that is. Typically, it's June 30th. If it is June 30th, the, the repeal will take effect sometime in October, which means there will be a time when this abortion ban is in effect and the 15-week ban isn't. Once long. the repeal takes effect, the 15-week ban returns. Got that? Okay. Yeah, kind of confusing, yeah. but the laws are going to jump all over the place over the next several months. Okay. All right. Thank you for clarifying that. Of course, we're going to keep our viewers updated on everything that goes, uh, that happens. And of course, if Governor Hobbs signs it tomorrow, we will be there. Bram, thank you so much. Nearly two years after the Supreme Court decision that overturned Roe v. Wade, Americans remain broadly opposed to the ruling. Now, that's according to a new CNN poll, which found about two thirds oppose the Supreme Court decision, Dobbs v. Jackson Women's Health Organization. Only 34% approve of the ruling, limiting access to abortion. The numbers have remained effectively unchanged in CNN's polling across the nearly two years since the ruling. Those who strongly disapprove of the decision continue to outnumber those who strongly approve by a margin of more than two to one.
Make sure to stay with 12 News on TV and online for the very latest on Arizona's abortion battle. We'll, of course, continue our coverage throughout the day on 12 News at 5, 6, and 10.